had to re-download. There is, you know, when you do, I only use it for this on this computer, and then uh, you know, one week goes by and it needs an update. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, we might as well just start. I'm trying to get my video camera. Where's this at? All right. So, uh, might as well just, uh, do we have any questions to start? Did I submit you any questions regarding the game? Anything we need to Yeah, I all right, I got a question. I I just had enough points in the cross server at like cross server war. The one that's going on on the weekends. I just had enough points and I bought I chose Star was it that or was it the arena? one of them? F Family Brawl maybe. Whatever. I bought Star Array instead of doing my final Red Soul. You think that's a good choice, even though I don't use Star Array? Yeah, I don't think it was a good choice. I think, like, getting your souls first should have been, like, priority. That's what I'm doing. I went for my worldly snare first, and then, like, even then I still rarely use it, but... Now, after I realized that, I'm just gonna focus on Red Souls, just to get them all right. Yeah, my my thought was just, you know, you get the 64%, right? For the skill of everything. And it, I don't know. It's just like, I have it. it. What if, like, there's a an update where they make that skill very yeah, useful in mages? It's then it's I got just it. To have, just to have it. Yeah. yeah. And, well, I, and I just I, figure... I go ahead. I don't think it'll impact you too much. I mean, you're, you're pretty much a spender, right? Yeah, so I don't think it'll impact too much your gameplay. If it was like for a free to play person, I'd say uh, definitely um, probably Red Soul. Yeah, because they have to specialize. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, my thought was what I just said also, you do get Red Souls for free, it just takes a long time. Yeah, it does. So I don't like to use points on things that are free. And then obviously you can get dupes of the reds from the gacha, and it's, it can be quite frustrating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it'll come out nicely in the end when you can focus in on them attributes for them. So. Yeah. Um, I have another question. Let me look. So, you know on Enchantment? Yeah. So, I have my game open, so I'll try and open it while we talk. You know that you know when uh, you get the pink ones and they have 5, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Oh, the attributes. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any that have attack plus? You know what I mean? Like the top one. I just keep getting defense. Oh, so the top one goes off of the location it's in. So, shade screen. So I can try to explain this as best as I can. Uh, I think it's better you share your screen. Okay. I'm on blue stacks and it's very slow. Alright. Um, I could possibly, like, later show you the settings and it might help. But, anyways. So, here's my drinking tip. I've had terrible RNG luck with the uh, rune stones, by the way, so please don't comment on any of my things. Yeah, I see. Um, anyways, so if I click on here, this mm -hmm. is defense, right? Yeah. So, but if I click on here, it's attack. But if I change it between any of my rune stones in this slot, then all of them are going to be attacked. Same with this one. All of these are going to be defense in this position. All of the ones here have a grip resistance bonus. All the ones here have for counter damage resistance. All the ones here are for skill damage, and all the ones here are for HP. Do you get it? Yeah, really. So if I change them, so if I change this one, for example, that's position three. We're going to change it to this. Replace. Well, as you can see, he even look at the top here. Defense, defense. Defense, 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 defense. They're all defense. 
Hmm. Okay. I'll, I'm loading my mine's very slow. Blue stacks is incredibly slow, especially when other stuff's going on. Like it's still loading my enchantments right now, but I have two that are defense, two different ones. I swear. Um, so, yeah. that's weird. and that's not all of mine, not all of mine have, uh, you mean this top attribute, right? Yeah, I'm talking about the top one. Mine right now, and all of these seem to be HP. Let me, let me look, I swear. I got a couple upgraded ones, but I, I moved to Archer, so I'm going to have to find them because I don't have them all on right now. Unless I'm mi misremembering. Oh, what? I, I think, think it's different, different for some of them. them. Unless, Unless it is just kill the RNG, because look here. On this one here, head wall, I think number six, I have boss damage, crit resistance. Yeah, crit damage and crit resistance for this one. Kill damage and resistance. So this one just seems to be a resistance based. Um, so number six is the resistance. Do you level any up that aren't pink? No, I, I've been using my pink because they give them a, it's got five different attributes, what, well, four to five? Yeah, so same. Nice I only level if I get five and if it's pink. Yeah, so two of them are resistance bit. So I think it just depends on like the separate swap that it's in. But majority of them are the same. So counter damage and skill damage, basic attack, they're all in one as well. But defense, attack, and. HP are all in the same place. So you've just got to alternate between which kind of combo, or so if you're actually, you'd have global combo damage, and then maybe the resistance, um, either skill or counter damage, or just bit at resistance. Yeah, I, I like the ones that are attack, HP, defense. They really, really amplify all the percentages. Yeah. And I haven't had any luck getting the five on pink for too many of them. So I'm very yeah, lagging behind on the... It's one percent <laughs> to get it, and you can't level up the dungeon any further. It's one percent to get a pink, and then the pink might suck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, my game's super slow to... It's like it froze. I think it froze. All right, we have a question or comment. Hi. Bing Chillin, hi. Any questions about the game? Hey, Ari, Ted. Welcome to the uh, Q&A. Okay. I'd like to know more about... more clarity on how healing, like, regeneration works. Uh, I think it mainly goes off of the actual stats that you've got, because it goes, obviously, off of the regeneration in your gear, yeah. and it'll all accumulate in every place that you've got it in. So if you've got it in... Rune stones. If you got it in the wing, the wing talents. The wing talents is big. Yeah, but uh, what what's wing. the base multiplier? So like, if you have Pepe, point one, that should matter a lot, right? Like I'm assuming. Uh, I think the base multiplier is literally what you have in your gear. So the hmm. percentage, I think it. Certain things heal you more, so there's one attack, I think it's for warriors, the more you attack someone with counter, it regenerates a yes. percentage of your health based on your regeneration. But if you get regeneration in, like, in your gear here, because you can get like 0 0.2 in each one. 
at least that's what two percent healing and that'll be per tick so every second or even not even a second but per tick on the game it'll give you that percentage of health back so do you think Pepe's point one healing helps that'll at all? That'll accumulate your overall uh, regeneration. Yeah, it just seems useless, but I, I feel like there's more to it that we're not understanding. I, th- I think if you was going for a full, like, mage for healing, then you could use Pepe. I feel like that's what that pal is actually for. Just a full healing loadout. Yeah, uh, you'd have to be behind shields the whole time and healing, and there'd have to be skill delay on. Yeah, but they're adding PvP skill delay soon, as well as a Crescent Moon, which is a mount that gives you an extra Blitz Assault, as well as another artifact that gives you another Blitz Assault. That would not be very back, strong. Back, et cetera. So it'll be two extra blitz results that you can get additional to this one. And since it's a back accessory and not an artifact, you can also use I have a raven, and yeah. then that could trigger another blitz assault. Yeah, so keep spending. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will get them if if you know. If they come out and they are as good as advertised, then you absolutely need them. But yeah, it's got a few questions of, like, the base of what it heals is, it'll heal the total. So if you've got 2% of regeneration, it'll heal 2% of your global HP per second. So the more HP you have, then the more HP you're going to regenerate per time. Yeah, of course. Huh. And obviously, if you keep getting more mounts, more back accessories, more artifacts, then you're getting that accumulative global HP by just owning it or leveling it, and then... So, what do you think of changing classes once in a while, just to level up your trials? I did it the other day, so I'm Archer again now, just to get... Because I'm tired of one star on uh, level 6 on Dark Trials, so I got it up to level... Three star. Uh, I feel like if you're a warrior, then it is probably smart to keep walking over. Yeah. But yeah, if you're an archer, a warrior, sorry, then you can swap over back to archer if you've got a archer preset ready to actually do it. Yeah, but I was a warrior archer, and I swapped out then- to. Uh, to Archer to do it, because I just got yeah. tired of, you know, I, I want to max out all the trials before. It, but if you're going for a PvP and a PvE build, then I'd suggest, like, for PvP, maybe Swordmaster, and then for PvE, a Archer set for win crossbow, yeah. and then just keep building off the sets. Um... Just some information on the new gear that's coming out. It will be released on Lamp 28, and the effects from the gear don't actually give you more percentage. So the crit rate percentage doesn't go up. You only get more attack, HP, and defense. It's not an actual extra percentage, which kind of sucks. On which gear is that? The new gear that's, that's going to come out gear. that's above uh, yeah. gold auras or, yeah. or whatever it's called on other people's continents, yeah, servers. Yeah. So the gear that's above that, the uh, skill crit or regeneration or whatever it is for percentage just doesn't go up, just the HP attack and defense. Yeah, that that is a lot though. Like that stuff is your base multiplier. Yeah, but also you don't want to get scuffed over on the uh, substats. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's a balancing act. I yeah. change my mind every time I see a new piece of gear. Yeah, it especially hurts when you get dupe of perfect gear when, you know, for your perfect gear. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Any questions out there? I'm not thinking anyone's got any questions. By the way, if you guys don't want to speak, you can actually type in the... Yeah, there's a chat. chat. 
Okay, I'm, I'm going to step Let's away chat. for like 30 seconds. But while I'm gone, why don't you talk about uh, the new strategy in Family Brawl? Are you going to do it? Are you? How are you countering it where people are just leaving one line with zero and then having like 40 people in the other two lines? So what I've seen is people normally put zero people in, I would say, about mid-time of Brawl, maybe like six hours before Brawl starts. So if they do that, they're probably going to swap lanes last second to move that zero people lane to your beast lane. So you've got to kind of predict their movement and then move your lane according to their plan. But, but it's, it, it's all it's all fucking psychology. You're just trying to figure out what to do with family brawl because right now it's just all over the place. <laughs> you uh, can change everything last second. No, nah, it's it's waste of time and waste of points. If you're going for just two turrets, it's waste. Yeah, lots of people just start doing zero people in one lane and then forty stack two lanes. Yeah, we were um, with my clan. We are still winning against this. It's not a problem. Ah. Just have to mix your teams. Yeah, definitely. And uh, attack order is uh, the most uh, preferred. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm just giving some people their. Uh... Q&A participant role. Oh, nice. Yeah, so are we, uh, to sum that up, I missed the ending there. Are we going to be doing that strategy? strategy? Uh, it kind of depends on what their pre-plan is that I normally go against. So if they don't do anything, and I suspect they're probably going to change lanes like last second, then that's fine. I can just counter against that. But if they're going for a zero person stack i normally just mix the lanes up yeah it sucks team. because then your top guys just get a massive debuff yeah good thing with us is we've got a a lego with 47 million power so we can just use him to tank anything <laughs> yeah but eventually if he's on like a 15 yeah, match winning streak anyone can be yeah he, yeah he gets overwhelmed sometimes by like five 40 mils Oh, 30 mils. Oh. Yeah. Uh, did you get confused in cross-server this weekend with the other server that has almost the exact same number as us? Uh, I've gotten confused twice. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it has, like, it's the exact same number. It's 33042, um, and we're 30042. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've I've gone in and been in like, oh god, I used my zero gem attempt, and then oh, there's nothing yeah. there. And then I just go for yeah. the towers. And... It confused me at first too because I thought we was actually them. Yeah, but, I thought we were winning. Yeah. I was like, oh, we're in first, nice. Now my top yeah. guy was on a twenty-three person debuff. Yeah, that's crazy. So but the, that's how it? these games go. Whales win. Yeah, I, I don't really, like, I'm not that fussed about Showdown right now, mainly because our server's dead, so it's not really anything for us to worry about. Yeah, our server's dying hard, eh? Yeah, he's very dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, we need a gravestone for this server. Yeah, we, we need a merge badly. Like, we, you could tell, participation is down a lot. Yeah, well, I've just kind of, like, given up on the showdown because the other big family they don't really want to contribute <laughs> well th i don't think they i think they don't have many players anymore like if you look like their top four people play and then there's no one else getting points like i don't think it's they don't want to contribute i think that those people quit and they're just you know like the one guy in our alliance who's 28 million but hasn't logged in in forever i think that's what they they are dealing with too uh, Bug, I think they're adding mergers soon, but there's no release date yet. Supposedly, early servers like EU EN-1, for example, apparently they've already merged. So hopefully it does come soon because my server desperately needs it. They're also adding server migration, which I believe this is where you can switch between servers. It'll probably be more likely you can join servers that's 
all the vineyards but not earlier's. So like if my servers are older than yours, for example, like I'm on day sixty, you're on day forty, then you can be able to transfer to mine, but you won't be able to transfer to early servers, that's like day fifteen. So that would just be a way to fill older servers. Yeah, I think that's what they'll be doing. I could be entirely wrong, but yeah. And I wonder if that will be free or not. What well, I hope it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because so it should be free in this game, but I know in so another game I play, like they charge money to change servers. Yeah, it just depends which way the server wants. To, well, the game wants to go, but I, I don't think the now, game is competitive enough it. for that. Do you think that this game? So lots of games. Uh, let's see what the. I can't wait. I'm gonna come to Corey. All right, yeah, join us. I heard some birds calling two months for merges, I guess. Uh, do you think this game, so most of these type of games eventually have some sort of like all-star format where the best players all get to play against each other. Do you think this game will head that direction? I think gradually, like they'll just start increasing the server limits and then just gradually merge earliest like later servers with each other and then just keep expanding on that until eventually everyone's in like a hundred different servers rather than ten thousand yeah no i mean like an all-star championship maybe you never know but they're kind of doing that technically really with brawl yeah, but you would have individuals. So, like, you would have brawls, and then you would have it set up so, like, the individual players that have the best scores, they move then, on, and then... Or, like, they do well, it with cross-server, or the, well, you know, the platinum be diamond be stuff. As, yeah, but that could even be classed as, like, arena, like, um, cross-server uh, ranked arena. Yes, if Something like that. Obviously, the high, yeah, higher the players, then obviously you're all going to be matching with each other. They yeah. just need. To, they're going to be releasing a lot more ranks, so it will get tougher. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, depending on how they roll it out and whatnot. I, I, I can't remember where they showed the ranks. Actually, there's a way to see it. Is it here? Yeah. Look. So right now they've what released master, or is it diamond they've released? I just moved up for the first time in like a month and I'm like platinum Dude. two now or some or diamond two. Dude, I was stuck at, diamond. I think I was stuck at platinum yeah. one forever. Yes, basically laid locked platinum one so you couldn't go higher. But now they've released diamond three, diamond two, diamond one. I don't know if you can go into master yet, but there's another three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels you can go up and then apex champion will be like the top 20 players yeah i'm diamond two right now diamond three and i'm in 11th one spot out of moving up and i'm just saving my attacks till the last like two minutes hoping to get up and i and i purposely did not move into the top 10 yet because i don't want people targeting me to go in uh, Keck World said Masters is blocked at the moment, so they keep locking them, and then maybe like every month they'll unlock a new ranking, or hopefully sooner every and every month. Yeah, and it makes sense because they don't want people to get those rewards. Yeah, like that's the whole reason they're doing it. They don't want someone to go in and get thirteen hundred tokens, and then like in three yeah, weeks like, they got all their pink souls. Yeah. That's why they keep blocking it. Just so people, like the whales, can't get extremely ahead of everyone else. They've got to kind of like balance it out. Yeah. Purple souls is too crazy. The pink ones. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, I, I feel, I feel like the there's purple. a bit of an issue in the game with uh, what you, like, unless you're a massive whale... Your spending doesn't really do to that much. Uh, like I, I feel like I feel like I have I have six pink souls now, and I yeah. 
am kind of equal to lots of people with only one. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you've got Max Awakening too. Have you been upgrading your Awakening well or? Awakening. Yeah, like what levels you seals? I have finished. Oh, yeah, yeah, my seals, yeah. So I just redid them right now. So um, I just redid them because I'm archered for the weekend just to do trials. But the attack is over 20, and then I got a couple others at 5. But normally I would be like 15, 15, 10, 10 if I was warrior. Mm. Like, I don't, I don't know how to count up because they start using 20 at some point, right? But like I have all six stones done, and then I'm on. The, I'm talking about the scrolls that I would be leveling up there. I don't yeah, unfortunately, I've had terrible luck. <laughs> I've been getting purple souls, not pinks. <laughs> oh, purple ones, yeah, the low ones. But I think that guy was talking about pink when he said purple. Yeah, because they do look purple. Yeah, I mean, there's one more. Yeah, the pink. Yeah. No, I I think that there's it's clearly a uh, like spend big or just spend a little bit and have fun. Yeah, I, I don't think necessarily like just getting the passes is quite a nice boost. To be fair, I think that's like where the most value is in general. Yeah. Is just that's the true. passes. Yeah, I think so too. Get out of the passes so I got a friend, uh he got an account from us, so he can play on my server. And did his account. He's two weeks in now. And he started very late. So he's catching up super fast. Yeah, the passes give like a really quite nice boost. And obviously so like the late. I I have a question people. about that. So you're on a server, older server, and your friend got an account from someone else to play with you guys? I got, uh, yeah, some accounts. So how did you do that? Because, like, the person had to give their Facebook or something, right? Because it's nah, locked to nah, one. You... Uh, if you are not, uh, you can uh, buy just an email. You can uh, just find email. So, so that guy binded by email, but never like used a no, personal email or something. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you used like a dummy email because you were, you know, you don't want to yes. use personal. Yeah. So I, I used my real right stuff, now. so I could never do anything like that. <laughs> this 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 guy is like one week now in, and also he started for one week. It's a friend for me too, and uh, this is his brother. I'm fighting. I hear. He's five days in now. But he's not buying the passes. <laughs> he's uh, just tweet the Yeah, the passes are good for sure. I bought a new one today because it was on the last day and I completed it and I was like, oh, there's lots of gems in there for 99 cents. Yeah. So I just bought the True. middle row on one of them. Oh, Corey, I, here's a question. The yep. lamp, you, you said the new gear that's going to come out. Do you know what level it's going to be? Is it level, lamp 30 or 28 or what? It's lamp 28. 28, okay. So I'm lamp 27 now. So Yeah, so you still got a while to go, really. But I don't think it's worth saving until you're on lamp 28 because... There's no confirmation to when it's actually going to come out. It's still going to be a while yet, so I'd say just rush yourself to Lamp 28 as quick as you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I do not save... I don't believe in saving gear for the next level. I'd rather level up and get to the next yeah. level quicker. Well, once you get to 28, at least save then, because you're going to want to go after the perfect attributes for your gear. Yeah. So you're going to be searching for all that. Yes, I have terrible skills my percentages i got like maybe three on each class that are perfect i'm quite lucky to be honest i'm far off 
perfect gear for Archer. Really? Yeah, uh, Warrior, I've been well. doing terrible. Mage is easier because there's lots of different options you can go with. As long as it has stun, you can go with, you know, skill crit, you could go with regen, you, lots of different things you can go with. Where the other ones are pretty, you want counter crit or combo crit. Yeah, I got so many keys for 99 cents. Very good deal. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm in a battle with uh, customer service right now. You know the lucky, not lucky spinner, the whatever, the spring fever. I forgot to spend my tickets. And I got gold instead. And I'm like, take oh. back your gold. I want something else. <laughs> That's rip, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm home with that. <laughs> I'm trying to get divine <laughs> hammers. Probably, yeah. Like, I don't want to be too complicated and say, give me one of this, one of this. Just, just give me this. <laughs> yeah, just give me divine hammers. Keep your stupid gold. I don't need it. It would be nice if they give you more than, like, say if you had, like, 100 tokens and they're 10 each, and I think you can only buy, what, 5? It would be nice if they just give you the 10 value. <laughs> yeah, but there should be a day layover, because I'm waiting to the end to see how many I have, if I can afford the next highest thing, and then it expires. Most games have, like, okay, the event's now closed, now you buy. Yeah. But it's my fault, obviously. But I'm still going to complain and try to get something. Well, they did do it. So you're on about the uh, like the wedding event with flowers, right? They like gift flowers to people and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, they did do it. So that it was like for two days. Um, like Just so you can see the leaderboard and stuff like that. But you couldn't actually spend your tokens. You couldn't get into the area for it. It was just locked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just want my something. I don't want gold. Six million gold. Useless. When it, you know, my lamp's almost max. Yeah, I'm close to lamp 27. I can't wait. All right, uh... Abyss Abyssal Bug has to go. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. He's already gone. All right. <laughs> well, he can watch the recording and see that we acknowledged his uh, his comment. What? Uh, so what level are you, Corey, in basically all of the trials? I think the max level is 120, like in Thief. Uh, you're about dungeons. Yes, yeah. I call them trials. I don't know. Um, I, I think like 110 for all of them. Yeah. They're around there. Yeah, I'm like uh, 110 I'm, to 120. I think only uh, the I'm Thief I've maxed them out. recently, to be honest. Yeah. I haven't been doing it. It's just because I, I, yeah. I do it before bed, so I just skip all of it and then. You just sweep the them? Stuff. Yeah, I just sweep them while I'm working on the Discord. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I sweep two, and then one day I'll be like, okay, let me try, see if I got stronger. I do it every Sunday. I sweep the full week, and Sunday I do my keys. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably start doing them properly once Mount Rushes come, so I can get a nice boost from that, as well as from Divine Hammers, plus Tech Rushes coming up, so... I get to spend all my hours. Yeah. Corey, do you know Wait. on the Rainbow Slime what the global stat is? Uh, is it crit resistance? Not, not on top of my head. Give me a second. I'll have a look. I've nerded it down in League somewhere. Wait, you're playing League without me? That sucks, bro. Play TFT with me. <laughs> um, slime? I got you, buddy. I got you. Slime got global, global attack, attack ten percent. Global hey, attack ten percent. <laughs> yeah, global attack. Okay, that's so two mounts that are global attack. Damn. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll be strong, obviously. And which, uh, what's its main power? Um, when your health falls below 80%, it increases your attack by 15% for 10 seconds. And then if your health falls below 60%, you will receive a shield equal to 10% of your max maximum health for 10 seconds. And when your health is below 30%, you'll receive 15% damage reduction for 10 seconds. And all three of them stats will stack above each other if the battle doesn't last longer than 10 seconds. Hmm. It's uh, interesting. I'm trying to think so of So you get 15% damage reduction, 15% attack increase, and 10% shield. Yeah. As well as 10% global attack. Yeah, it's good for everybody. Like, it has a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, yeah. Obviously, the stronger you are, the better. Like, if you're... That would be like a whale mount. If you got really high HP. And it'd probably be really good for going against monsters, too. Especially, you know those ones that, like, two-shot you? So one hit, and you're down to, like, 30%. Yeah. So then you just get all those buffs for a little bit as a chance to stay alive and win. I must say, I like the combination out of the, the new mount which is coming. The slime yeah, and, and the paper bag. The paper bag is so broken with this. The paper bag? That's a mount? Let yeah. me look at it. No, 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 no at uh, paper backpack. For your wings. Oh, the Pepe? Yeah, it's too much. You mean the bullfrog? Uh, people start first. Uh, back accessory. He means the back accessory. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I was looking. Yeah, it's giving you damage resistance five percent. Uh, okay, yeah. Nasty shit, and it's on the percentage is not the same like the other one. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking for. Uh, I like the magic carpet look. Restore one skill, random skill. It just look. It just looks cool. Like, and plus that would be an extra launch of an attack. So that with the eye of the raven, you'd be getting two extra skills right at the start. I just think it would be cool being a mage and flying. Even though all the mounts pretty much fly and hover. But I like the magic carpet idea. When health typed it out there, nice. When Health is below 30, you'll receive 15% damage reduction. Yeah, that mount's going to be really strong, as it should be for 30 tokens, though. Yeah, that's true. And it's going to be hard for lots of people to get it, because, you know, the same people do well in the rush events all the time. That's true. On my side, the people are not able to... Um... All that stuff. Yeah. Like this, this is, I got, we got tech watch right now, yeah? Look at this. It's always the same. Ours is always the same. That's how it goes. <laughs> it's the same in every game. The same people win all the time. That's all goat? In every game, yeah, for sure. You, The same people that spend early, and there's such an advantage early. Like if you joined the server on day one and spent money at the start, then you would be able to save up things, right? You don't have to spend, you don't have to use yeah. your skill book, your skill roles and then you also have them extra to catch up. keys, which means you've just got that, even if it's like 2000 lamps above everyone else. And even though you spend in it's, it's just accumulative stuff. But you can always win um, Shroom 
farm or mining event. Of course, if you just spend all day on shrooms, you can just steal all day every day. No, yeah, it's but... not this. It's just like um, you finish the event, and that's all. That's all. Like on mining, you just do all the four sites on the stack rush. After this, you don't spend any ore for the next rush, and then you got more than anyone else because everyone's trying. And this is how this guy is. Yeah, it's, it's just all about saving, knowing what to yeah. save and when to save. It says you have to get three six out of three rolls. So six, 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 yeah. and then you're out, so you or you pay 200 get, coins. Uh, yeah, but sometimes you can get a chance where it'll come up and you'll lose the coins, and then you'll lose a turn also. Uh Oh, I swear, down there, I'm not even joking. I think I'm the luckiest person on this game at the moment. Yeah, you've been quite lucky. Yesterday, I've literally, I, I, I got octop. I got all the immortal pets now. Yeah, off like a couple, couple thousand gems. And yes, I was like a perplexed at all, and that's literally the only one I got out of like fucking fifteen k gems. Yeah, crazy. I'm getting all the ones I need. <laughs> I still like that. I'm optimus myself. I was just spamming fucking. I was saving up tickets and then just spamming them. But now I got power coupons there, yeah, and there's not even a point of me rolling because I've got literally every single pet. So, apart from two event ones, actually, I haven't got the eggplant. Yeah, how do you get the eggplant? Yeah, how do you get the eggplant? The eggplant becomes purchasable. I think it was what week one or week two was it, GK? And it cost like fifty dollars for to buy the eggplant. Yeah, so I it's not I even that good. It, and that's one of the things I was talking about, like where there's really no event right now, a spending event. It would be nice if they allowed an opportunity to go get those things. Yeah, yeah, however, I have yeah. confirmed the Rainbow Guardian, the banana pet for uh, Warrior, that will be returning soon. I'm not too sure about the uh, eggplant. So banana pet has come around three times mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Oh, one second, my girlfriend's got a question. Go on. <laughs> um, what's it called, Aurorus, is it? Are the, do you know, like, the pets? And that? They're going to bring out them instead of, like, going up to, what is it? Immortal. Immortal. Uh, I don't know if there's a higher rarity for the pets, if that's what you mean, but there's a higher rarity for the gear. Oh. Uh, it would be... I think they should bring out the pets. Yeah, they should bring out pets, shouldn't they? Because... They're, uh, they're bringing out flying pets. If you look in the main guides, there's information on that. Oh, that's pretty and cool. Essentially, what? that's a flying pet that your friends can borrow and use at the same time. And so you can use what? friends' pets to breed um, quite a lot of interesting things, really. Oh, the good thing about this game, yeah, is with most AFK games, the developers give up, up after, like, a couple of weeks. With this one, they just keep on releasing new things. It's so addictive. Oh, my God, people in VR. Yeah, I think the Flying Pets is tied to the Digimon event. There'll oh. be a Digimon event, and there's also going to be an in Nintendo event. The Nintendo event is basically a lottery where you can do daily tasks to obtain lottery tickets and then you've got a chance to win a lottery and the winner will get a hundred dollars worth of gems. Nice. Oh, well, gems, oh, give me a favor time. as well, yeah? But, oh, basically, yeah, my girlfriend's farm keeps on getting fucking ransacked by VIP. <laughs> How can I fucking stop that shit? Uh, you request for help in the chat. What if she doesn't see it? Because half the time we're in college and we don't have like Wi-Fi or anything. What is her then... name in game? Nancy. Nancy VWV, I think. Okay. Yeah, like just keep a, if you can, boys, keep a look up because they lick like fucking so much off at the moment. I just so when someone takes your from your crops, does that hurt your? Yield that you take eventually. Yeah, no. so you yeah. lose two hundred. I think it is every time. Yeah, someone every time. Yeah. yeah, every time someone steals. So say you get like a premium seed, yeah, and that gives you one thousand two hundred. If someone nicks that like one time, it would be a thousand, and then eight hundred the next time. Mm. You get me? Yeah, I've never every noticed time. the difference. Every time. Yeah, like I, I almost no, always no, get yeah. mine, except when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what'd you say? I almost always clear them, except when I'm sleeping, because, like, four hours is the max length. 
Yeah. And I don't really pay attention to look, but... As far as I keep up... I keep on getting SSS's, yeah? In my boss damage one, right, I've got an SSS combo. It's so annoying. And then... And my main, like, crossbow thing, I keep on getting other SSS's. It's driving my head in. It's doing my head in, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bastard counter damage. Thank yeah. Well, so side comment for that, I've spent 950,000 fruits just to try and get one global combo, and I haven't been able to find it. Oh, I, I got one, yeah, but it's in the wrong set. I can't switch them over, can I? No, so I've got it in the wrong set. I'm like, you're going to get SSS counter damage in this set, and I'm just doing Do they know that in. majors need in that part? What's a major's need in the statue? I know it's in the server, but my girlfriend, I can't she can't be asked to look. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's three skill damage and two global attack. Okay. Uh, you don't like yeah. crit resistance for a mage? Uh, well, you can get crit resistance in other places, such as like talent in back accessory, rune stones. Yeah, uh, but it's small amounts. Skills. Yeah, but small amounts have it. Boys, I got a question as well, yeah? Should, for cr wind crossbower, should I be focusing on crit rate or combo? Because I notice with more crit rate, I do more damage. You want both crit rate and combo. Or do you mean in stature? Like, no, no, no. As in, in general, right? So okay, what are your percentages right now? Huh? What yeah, are your... I'll tell you. If you look at my screen, I'll load up. Like, what's your combo percentage and your crit percentage? My combo, I can get up to... Like, so right now you've got eighty percent combo and thirty percent crit rate. Um, yeah, you gotta you, you gotta crit rate must on. Your crit yeah, needs yeah, to be much higher. On. Yeah, so wait, wait, potentially you want the... a ninety percent crit. So yeah, you do want to work on your crit, but you don't want to sacrifice your combo either. You want to try and keep it balanced. So try and aim for gear that has combo and crit rate on. Yeah, that's what I'm be trying to do. I just can't get it. What I've done, yeah, with the combo, um, arrow king math, yeah, I get eighty nine. So I need, I'm nearly at ninety percent combo. But with the crit, with, without that, I've got like nineteen percent crit rate. You know what I mean? Like it's a like I'm the, I notice the more I have um like crit rate, the more damage I'm doing. Yeah, when I upgrade my combo. Combos can crit. So which mask so, are you wearing? Are you wearing the crit mask the or the crit combo mask? mask? Crit, 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 crit rate at the moment. I'm yeah. using crit rate. I would do the same. Do you, are you using the bunny for an extra five percent crit? Let me have a look. I don't think I am because I'm using the turtle for shield. Because I need shield, I think. So I've, at the moment, my my pets are octopus, turtle, deer, banana, and hydro sprite. But I need the turtle for the shield and the um uh, for when my HP go goes below fifty. So I don't have the buddy bear qu pet equipped now. Yeah, do you want to show you his pals real quick? I think you need. Uh, I think you need to use the bunny. Yeah, Shane Charles, I'll give you an ultimate. And I would even me. consider the dragon as well. The, yeah, I have, I have all of them, so I can, put, I can mix and match them, like, you know what I mean? But I just don't. Like, if you're... What did you say you were? 80-30? Uh, yeah. But... Yeah, like, I'd even rather be, like, 65-45, like... That that's really low crit. I notice when people have like sixty crit as archers, now they usually have like seventy five, eighty combo to go with it, but they're like unbeatable. Crit is so important. I know um, it is, and I notice that when I don't have a lot of crit, I fucking hell a struggle on damage. But when I put the crit rate mask on, I get nearly thirty percent, and it's massively increased my fucking thing. Like yeah. honestly, massively. Yeah, yeah. I almost favor people. crit over anything. Like if, like if I'm warrior, I favor crit over counter. If I'm <laughs> archer, I favor crit over combo. If I have to make a decision. I get you, boys. I get you. Thank you. But I, but you want to keep that com combo or counter over seventy five at least. 
But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been trying to do. I'm trying to be not lowering it so much that it's below 75, but not too much so it's above like 100, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. I got to get out of here. I uh, got to go open that pool while there's still sun. So have a good one, guys. I recorded it, so I'm going to uh, splice this up and hopefully add just the good parts, and I'll put it up and you guys can see it. All right. Have a good afternoon, guys. All right, guys. Enough there.